experimental or scientific method can be defined as a carefully controlled method of investigation aiming to establish a cause and effect relationship by manipulating and controlling certain variables. Operational definitions are then a precise description of the variables and how these will be manipulated and measured. The scientific method also includes a testable hypothesis, which is a statement that describes the relationship between two or more variables. This hypothesis must be testable, verifiable and refutable. The variables are then dependent or independent. The independent variable is the one that is manipulated or controlled by the experimenter while the dependent variable is the one that is measured, affected by the independent variable. In an experiment, there are typically two groups, the experimental group and the control group. The experimental group is the one in which participants are exposed to the independent variable. The control group is exposed to the same condition with the exception of the independent variable. Doing so allows for the experimenter to compare the two groups and establish the effects of the independent variable. Confounding variables refer to the differences between the experimental group and the control group that are external to the experiment. These can have unwanted influence on the outcome of an experiment. Since the scientific method consists of carrying out a carefully controlled investigation, certain controls are put in place so that both experimental and control groups are treated in exactly the same way, with the exception of the independent variable. This is due to two common problems that can occur. First is experimenter bias and second is sample bias. Experimenter bias occurs when the experimenter's expectation of the outcome actually influence the outcome. Sample bias, on the other hand, occurs when participants are not representative of the population. But several control options are available. First is a random distribution procedure, where participants are randomly assigned to one group or the other. A placebo is an inactive substance. It is another control option often used in drug research. Two other options are single-blind and double-blind design. In the first, subjects do not know if they are assigned to the experimental or control groups. A double-blind situation is the same, but the experimenters are also unaware of which participants are in which group. Like all types of experiments, there are advantages and disadvantages to using the scientific method. On the one hand, doing so allows for the identification of cause and effect. Experimenters have several control options for this type of experiment and can also facilitate replication, which increases confidence that the independent variable influences the dependent variable. But on the other hand, this type of research occurs in labs and as such they are not representative of real life situation and as noted earlier, they can be affected by researcher and participant bias and the outcome can also be influenced by confounding variables because these are very difficult to identify and control.